Neighbors say it sounded like a bomb went off. Massive chunks of concrete falling from a railroad overpass in southwest Detroit. This morning, police were called in to close off that railroad overpass. It's happening on Green Street, not far from I-75 in southwest Detroit. People who live in the area saying little is being done to fix the issue. Victor Williams live at that overpass right now. So, Victor, the big question, obviously, who is responsible for this? Well, long story short, it's going to be the railroad company, Norfolk Southern. Take a look right behind me. You'll notice that there's a train still right on that bridge as the repairs were being made earlier. But some of the people that live in this area, they're saying that all this is happening too little too late. We heard a big crash and boom, it sounded like, like a grenade going off. Southwest Detroiter Rock is more than concerned about the condition of a bridge right around the corner from his home. It was a long piece, about 40, 50 feet long, and it just came down. Yet, the railroad track is still being used. We even saw two trains passing by while the repairs were still taking place. Trains go over at 24 7, shaking it more and more loose, and that's what happened. The train was coming by, and that was about the time it fell. Thankfully, no one was hurt. A huge sigh of relief considering the fact that Roberto Clemente Elementary School is right next door. If that piece of structure would have fallen on a car or even a pedestrian, it would have killed them Im immediately. Larry Alcantar passes under the bridge every day and says a lack of routine maintenance is what may have led to this happening. I'm glad right now they're taking um, some uh, remedial effects of it, but you know, the horse is already out in the pasture. The bridge hasn't been worked on, I don't think, ever. I've lived here my whole life, 50 years, and I've never seen them do anything to that bridge except throw some paint on it. We just got to think, God, nobody got hurt. And we're told that this is the result of damage to one of the walls on the bridge there, but they're saying right now, Norfolk Southern, is that there is no type of issue with the bridge collapsing at this point, so they're not worried about that. But as a precautionary measure, what they're going to do is take a look at all the bridges in this area, and hopefully they won't find any type of damage like this one. Victor Williams, Local 4.